Hey you guys, today I have a fun haul. I went to Target and Home Goods and picked up some beautiful things that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm also going to be showing you how I style my bookshelves. So with the things that I have from this haul, I'm gonna show you how I styled it, so just keep watching. So this haul is a combination of Target and Home Goods. I have bags on my on either side of me right now. And I'm going to start with the Target. The first thing I found were these gorgeous planters that reminded me so much of the ones from Restoration Hardware. Um, I absolutely love them. And now that spring is um, around the corner, I was already sort of thinking about gardening and how I wanna style my outdoor section. Although these planters are mainly going to be indoors more so than outdoors, they just have a cool vibe. Look at the texture on these. I mean, this one was $35 and I have the smaller version that was $25. I'll hold them up for comparison. They are really heavy. Um, they're made of cement or terracotta, I don't know, but they are just amazing. Okay. So who else loves going into Target and when you first walk in, you see all the little bins of the items that are like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. Um, I always love poking through there because sometimes they have some really cool stuff. And you guys know I do a lot of DIY and there are, there's always something there that I can always add to like my little art section. I happen to actually find, and I think these are so cool and so minimal. Um, they were here. Let me break them apart because that is a set and these aren't a set. So I found these trays. Um, they actually like salad plates, but they're not. Um, these are little ceramic trays. I spent $3 and what I intend on doing with these, and here's like a rectangle one. This is also $3. Um, I plan on putting these on my dresser just to sort of put like trinket trays. Now I would put jewelry or just little things for styling. I also just love the geometric shapes. So sometimes just sitting on the dresser, you know, putting, you can put perfume bottles. You can place perfume bottles on here, watches, bracelets, you name it. You know, these little things really help to elevate your dresser a little bit. It helps to keep things a little bit more tidy. Um, and they just look overall appealing on your dresser. So I always love buying these little trinket trays. And then this was a smaller set. This, this set came together. This one was $3 for the set. <clears throat> and again, I may not even put anything in here, but you could put earrings and rings on here, of course. But I just, I love layering things like this. And I just love how they, um, they just look on the dresser, just very minimal. remember that I purchased this olive tree that's here um, about a year ago. I think I shared it in one of my either haul, Amazon haul videos or, or like a room refresh video. I can't remember, but I was looking for another one and um, I saw one on Target's website. They had one left in the store and actually that's what really impulsed me to go to Target that day was to pick up this beauty and let me show you this is called this is from the um the hearth and hand collection it's a gypsophila it's a gypsophila tree um let's see if i can get it in frame so this is the tree and it comes with this beautiful um textured pot it's five feet tall and it just looks beautiful, like right behind um, a sofa or a chair. I haven't really styled it yet, but I will. And I will definitely show you what that is going to look like. I really just love, if you can see, I'm gonna bring this in closer, just how natural looking these branches are. That's the thing with artificial trees. They are really bad ones. And then they're really, really good ones. This tree was $99. And to be honest with you, I love it so much more than this olive tree that I paid $130 for on Amazon. All right, you guys, let's get into more pottery. Here are the items that I wound up finding at Home Goods. 
also I found this beauty. So I have completely refreshed the whole um, lounge room. I am sitting in the sunroom where originally my living room was in. And so I kind of swapped rooms. That will be another video where I will take you through um, the whole transformation and walk you through. Um, there's some things in disarray still, so I'm not gonna be able to show you that right now. Um, but this room got swapped for the room that I'm in. And so it's completely different. You might get a glimpse of it when I show you the bookshelf styling. Um, so I needed more black pottery and I noticed I had a lot of whites and tans. And so my purpose to go to home goods was to get some more black pottery. And I just love the simplicity of this. Um, this one was $19.99. And I absolutely fell in love with this bowl. This bowl, look at this bowl. <laughs> it looks like, it looks ancient, um, but this is from Tahari Home, from Home Goods, and I spent $20. And look at the texture, guys. This is just so, so cool. All right, now, <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but I this other piece was wrapped up in paper and I completely forgot all about it until I brought the bag over here to sit and film this. And I was like, what in the world? And I was like, I knew it was missing something. And this piece right here <laughs> was in the bag. And I don't know how that happened, but I'm glad I found it. Um, so now this is not styled because I already pre-filmed the whole styling session. I will style this and show you where I want to, I might even put this in my office just for, um, just because I already have my shelves already styled. All right, you guys. So that is the entire haul. I bought a few pieces just to sort of, um, refresh my room and refresh my shelves. so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already I do lots of home styling and hauls and DIYs so if that is the type of content you enjoy binge watching then I invite you to subscribe to this channel guys thank you so much again and I'll see you in my next video soon